Hello everyone. Welcome back in my class of CIS 2168 Data Driven Design. We are in week number four and uh, in this week we are going to work on query analysis and this is part number one of query analysis. I am Dr. Hari Mohan Pandey from the Department of Computer Science and my email ID is given here. In the next slide, I have presented the aim and objectives for this week session. So in this week, what we are going to do, in this week, we are going to perform query analysis. So the aim of this week that is in week number four, what we are going to do, we are going to perform query analysis. And in order to achieve this aim, I have framed multiple objectives and all in all, I have framed five different objectives. So objective one, two, three, four and So the first objective is to take an overview of query analysis and in part number one, we will focus on this. And in the upcoming parts of this week's session, we'll discuss the remaining four objectives one by one. So as I said, in this part, that is in part number one, the focus is on what is you want to understand what is queries and why analyzing queries are important. This, so uh, we want to find out the answer of uh, question number one and question number two under objective one. So this is what we are going to do in this session that is in part number one of query analysis. In the next slide here I have presented the overview of the queries. So here you can see a text box is given and a button is given. So this is a text box or query box or a button is presented here. So what a user want to do, a user is using a computer and in this computer, user is first using the browser and using this browser, for example, any uh, search engine, we can open in the browser, for example, let's say google.com. So what will happen? You will get this type of a text box and button to search the content. So this user is intended to search Monet. So what will happen? Whatever URL is given for this um, search engine slash search question query is equal to Monet. So this user want to search. So this type of thing you will get uh, in, in your URL. So this is what um, the query is. So here the term, let me explain this. Here the term query defines uh, a, web, uh, a web search query. So here um, actually the, the queries can be defined in several ways. Defined in several ways and here in this part that is in part number one of week four this term query indicates that we are intended to talk about web search query so here this query is nothing but a web 
search query. So this is what we are uh, talking about. So what is web search query? Now the question here is what is web search query? And the answer of this question is very simple. A web uh, a query based on a specific search term or item that a user enter into a web search engine to satisfy their information need is known as web search query. So this definition says that user has a query and this query is nothing but the information information user need suppose i would like to search about data analysis so my information need is data analysis so this is my information need so what i will do i will open a search engine I will open a search engine search engine maybe uh, Google is one of the search engine or you can use any other search engine so what will happen if you will open this search engine so this search engine will provide you a text box and a button to search like this so what you will do you will enter your query here and my query in this case is data analysis so this is my query so i will put data analysis in this box and then i will hit this search button and then i will get information related to data analysis so this is um, web search query so if you are talking if anybody is asking you what is uh, web search query or define web search query so what uh, you will say you will say that a web search query is based on a specific um, search item so here a specific search item is data analysis this is what a user want to search and in order to search this item user will use a search engine user will open the search engine and after opening the search engine user will enter the this content in this and then click on search option to search the data item uh, a web search queries are different than plain queries or text or hyper text based queries so web search queries are different than uh, plain text query or hypertext queries which we generally use in html or any other language another important point for web search query is it is different than standard query language so how it is different than standard query language because in standard query language the standard query language is strictly based on syntax rule syntax rules whereas for the web based queries you have not to follow any syntax what you can do as a user 
you can enter anything here to search suppose i want to search about apple so i will simply say apple i will put in this box and i will search i will click on search to get the information about the apple if i would like to search about any festival so what i will do i will simply enter the name of the festival in this and then click on search and then i will get the information about that particular festival so whereas in case of standard query language what you have to do you have to use a standard syntax to specify your query and then you will run your uh, command uh, to get the information related to that queries so that is why web based queries are different than the standard query language so lastly for this session i would say that a query or web based query are very simple what user will do user will simply open browser open search engine enter the query here query means the information user wants to get so user will enter the query in the search engine then click on the search option and then get the response for the queries so this is all about uh, web based queries and it is different than standard query language because it is simple to use whereas standard query language are uh difficult to use because uh, for using a standard query language you need to follow syntax for writing your queries that is why uh, it is difficult or uh, different than the web based queries in the next session next part of week number 4 we'll discuss types of queries so what we will discuss next next part we'll discuss query types so this is what we are going to discuss in the next part that is in part number 2 of week 1 so that's all in this session See you in the next part.